evaluate integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by 13 plus 5 cos theta. Okay, so this is contour integral of type 1 because the contour integral of type 1 is integral with limit 0 to 2 pi and function involving either sin and cos theta. So here the function having cos theta. So that this is contour integral of type 1. Okay, so type 1 the given integral is integral 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by 13 plus 5 cos theta. In this type, consider an unit circle C mod z equal to 1 such that z equal to e power i theta because generally every complex number can be written as corresponding polar form r into e power i theta. Every complex number can be written as complex number whose polar form is r into e power i theta. If you are considering the unit circle, radius is 1. So when you put r equal to 1, it becomes only e power i theta. Okay. So always in this type, you consider an unit circle C mod z equal to 1 such that z equal to e power i theta. Okay. From this, dz equal to, dz, d, sorry, in, in this, from this, d theta is equal to dz by iz and cos theta is equal to z square plus 1 by 2z and sin theta is equal to z square minus 1 by 2iz. Okay. So now these values and we, are, we have to substitute in the given integral. Then it will be converted into in terms of z and then we can easily integrate. Okay. Now I am going to substitute the values so that integral we consider an unit circle C with modulus, modulus z equal to 1 so that integral over C, C is modulus z equal to 1 unit circle and you take d theta outside so 1 by 13 plus 5 cos theta what is cos theta z square plus 1 by 2z into d theta what is d theta dz by iz okay for further simplification interval over c take the lcm term took here so 1 by 26z plus 5z square plus 5 whole divided by 2z into dz by iz here z and z cancel so and now the 2 is denominator of denominator you can take into numerator 2 and 2 by i can take outside. So that 2 by i interval over c 1 by 5 z square plus 26 z plus 5 into d z. Okay now after this I am going to apply Cauchy Residues Theorem. So what is Cauchy Residues Theorem? Cauchy Residues Theorem is integral over C e f of z d z equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z. Okay, so this is Cauchy Residues Theorem. Here I am going to apply Cauchy Residues Theorem. So now take 2 by i here into integral over C f of z d z comparing these two integral over c f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues sum of the residues of f of z take this is equation number 1 ok so now where f of z what is f of z here where f of z equal to this is f of z because already we comparing these two interval over c f of z dz. So f of z is 1 by 5 z square plus 26 z plus 5. Okay. So for the equation 1, I want to find out res residues of f of z. To find the res residues of f of z, first I want to find out the poles. The poles are by equating denominator equal 0. 
by equating the denominator is 0. So put denominator equal to 0. 5 z square plus 26 z plus 5 equal to 0. By equating the denominator 0, by solving this, you will be getting poles. Okay. So this is quadratic equation. I am going to solve this equation. So 5 into 5, 25. This 25 can be written as 1 into 25, 25, adding these to 26. You are getting this. So 5 z square plus z plus 25 z plus 5 equal to 0. Take common term z outside. So 5 z plus 1. And here commonly 5 outside. So 5 z plus 1 equal to 0. Take 5 z plus 1 outside. So 5 z plus 1 into z plus 5 equal to 0. So now equating this 5 z plus 1 equal to 0. z plus 5 equal to 0. From this z equal to minus 1 by 5 and z equal to minus 5. There are two poles. For each and every pole I want to find out the residues. But before that we have to verify the pole which are the poles lies inside C which are the pole lies outside C. Okay, but in this type we consider an unit circle C. Unit circle means radius is 1. Okay, so I want to verify which pole lies inside C, which pole lies outside C. But you see, when after taking modulus, this becomes 1 by 5, which is less than the radius value, so that it is lies inside. After taking the modulus, it is 5. 5 is greater than the radius, therefore it is lies outside the circle C. So this is the procedure to verify poles are lies inside or outside. Okay, but in this problem, I am going to take alpha is equal to minus 1 by 5 and beta is equal to minus 5. So there are two poles which are alpha and beta. Alpha lies inside C, beta lies outside the C, it's outside the circle C. Okay, so only one pole lies inside the circle C. Therefore, I am going to find out residue for that pole. I don't want to find out residue for beta because beta lies outside the circle C. Okay, so now and also alpha is a simple pole. So we have a formula for residue. Residue for the simple pole. So residue of f of z at z equal to a is equal to limit z tends to a z minus a into f of z. So this is the formula for residue for the simple pole z equal to a. Here a is alpha because alpha only lies inside c. Okay. So now I am going to residue for alpha. So now find the residue for z equal to alpha. So residue of f of z at z equal to alpha is equal to limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha into f of z. What is f of z? This is f of z. Okay. So I am going to substitute f of z value here. 1 by 5 z square plus 26 z plus 5. Okay. So now I am going to simplify limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha into 1 by this is quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta. Okay. So since quadratic equation having two roots alpha and beta then this quadratic equation can be written as z minus alpha into z minus beta. Are you clear? Quadratic equation having the roots alpha and beta therefore this can be written as z minus alpha into z minus beta. But one more important thing if the z square having the coefficient other than 1 that value you have to write outside. This is very important one don't forget. Okay. So the quadratic equation having any other coefficient for z square, the z square coefficient you have to write here, then you can write the roots alpha minus z minus alpha and z minus beta like this. This is very very important, don't forget. Okay, and then z minus alpha, z minus alpha can be cancelled. Now put z tends to alpha here. So 1 by 5 into alpha minus beta, substituting z to be alpha. Okay, so now 1 by 5 into alpha. What is alpha? Already we taken alpha is equal to minus 1 by 5, beta equal to minus 5. So minus 1 by 5 
and beta is equal to minus 5 minus of minus plus 5. Okay, so further simplification is 1 by 5 into 5 fives are 25, 25 minus 1, 24, so 24 by 5. Cancel 5, this is 1 by 24. 1 by 24 is a residue for z equal to alpha. We don't want to find residue for beta. So only one residue having for f of z. So that I am going to substitute this residue in the first equation because some of the residues says but we have only one residue. So that I am going to substitute here you will be getting the answer. Okay, so this is the first equation interval over 0 to 2 pi d theta by 13 plus 5 cos theta equal to 2 by i into 2 pi i sum of the residues of f of z. But we have only one residues because only one pole lies inside circle C. Okay, so corresponding pole residue is 1 by 24. Substitute here. So 2 by uh, i, i can be cancelled. So 2 into 2, 4. So 4 pi into sum of the residues, only one residue, which is 1 by 24. So simplify this, answer is pi by 6. So pi by 6 is the answer of this problem.